Today I'm going to talk to you about Hello Bonsai invoicing. Invoicing is one of my favorite features of Hello Bonsai because they have some options that a lot of the other systems don't. So let's go ahead and dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer and I love to teach other creatives how to run successful, profitable businesses. And a big part of that is to have a good client management system. So I've reviewed four of the top systems here on my channel. There's a whole playlist where you can watch comparisons and tutorials a lot of client management systems and a few other my favorite features with Hello Bonsai. I also have a link in the description that will get you two free weeks with Hello Bonsai. So let's go into our invoices tab. And I love that you can go ahead and set up your payments here. You don't have to go anywhere else, which is really nice. They make it really simple here. Um, to create a new invoice, you just create new invoice right here. Um, you can do recurring, subscription, and bundles, which I think is really cool. Those are some options that they don't have in all the other systems. We'll just start with a single one, um, and we're going to apply it to a project. You can go ahead and create a new project with this invoice, which I think is cool. Some of the other systems, you have to create a project before you put the invoice on the project, and this way you can kind of start with the invoice, which is nice. Now, these look really nice. They have all the information that you've inputted in the system here, and all the sample client information will be pulled here. Um, you can add an additional recipient. You can add an address. You can do a lot of things here. Then it's just really simple to go ahead and add um, anything in here. So let's just say design fee, and that's going to be five thousand dollars and then their production costs they're going to produce we're going to do a hundred and there's going to they're going to be two dollars each whatever it is now this item is not actually on the invoice um it's just the next line here for you and then you can add a discount taxes um, you can add expenses here you can do a lot of different things and then adding payment methods if you would like you also can um, establish those on the previous page and then one of my favorite parts about this is you can put in a default late fee. So I can go ahead and say, you know, if it's unpaid by the due date, it's 5% accruing monthly on the outstanding amount, etc. You can add any notes or attachments here, which I like that you can add attachments because you can't do that in some of the other systems. But to me, this isn't the magic. I mean, the late fee is really cool. The attachment's really cool. The fact that you can go ahead and make it recurring or subscription is really cool. But to me, the magic is when you go into your invoice settings. They just have a lot of cool things here that other systems simply do not. One of those being that default late fee, which I absolutely love. I've never seen this in any of the other systems that I've reviewed. You can go ahead and have the client pay the processing fees. Um, I don't love this just from a business perspective, and it's not legal in every single location. So make sure it's legal where you're at if you're going to do this. But if this is something you really want to do to encourage them to pay in a different way, you can do that. Um, I, I don't love it, but I like that they have that as an option here. Um, default tax rate, days until it's due, um, your VAT or tax, and you can always have a default note here. I also love when it hides the unit field. So if it's a flat rate for the design fee, I could do that. If you just have a package, it's not going to come in quantities. Um, go with that. You can lock attachments until the invoice is paid. So that's really cool if you're selling like a digital download or if you're selling design files where they don't get their design until the final invoice is paid um, and then you release all their designs. You can allow tipping um, and then you can use three decimal values. This will be really helpful to anyone who's doing like uh, this. This example is 0.2 cents per word. So if you're like an editor or a writer that charges in that way, that's really great. And then they also have all these timesheet options. So showing your link or showing the timesheet or hiding it. Um, you'll see there's a timer up here. Hello Bonsai is also a really good platform for anyone who works on an hourly build basis. So I love that feature here. Um, if you're doing something where you need three decimal values, where you need the timesheet attached to your invoices, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of Hello Bonsai for those type of businesses. So I think this settings option is really where the magic is here. This is what's so different and unique about Hello Bonsai as far as an invoicing perspective. Um, a lot of the other stuff, it is really simple to make this invoice. It's really easy to have this. You can't, as far as I know, um, add set packages here that you could select. That's something that's helpful in some other systems like Dubsado for me as an invitation designer. But some of these things like the default late fee, if that's a big issue for your business, attachments that can be locked until the invoice is paid, three decimal points, 
Um, and then the timesheet adding on the invoice. So if those are things that are important to your business, highly, highly recommend Hello Bonsai because these are, this is the only system I've seen where those things are incorporated. And you also just have all the other great stuff. You have proposals, contracts, um, time tracking tasks, all the accounting features, which I also think accounting is one of those places where Hello Bonsai really excels. And you can keep track of all your clients and projects here in Hello Bonsai. So you get the benefit of a lot of client management systems. But I think that invoice settings option uh, just gives you a few more capabilities that I haven't seen in other systems. So I hope this is helpful about Hello Bonsai invoices. If you have any questions or there's any other features you'd like me to go over in any of these systems, let me know. And while you're here, check out all of our other CRM playlist videos so you can learn which one is right for your business. And then I have a discount code in the description of this video. If you do decide to sign up with Hello Bonsai, you can get two free weeks. Thanks, everybody.